Well, the section tournament is here for boys high school hockey teams and the seven seeded Waseca Blue Jays made the trip to Casson to face off against the two seed, the Dodge County Wildcats in a Class 1A Section 1 quarterfinal matchup. The Blue Jays are in blue, the Wildcats are in white jerseys. Waseca is threatening here, Hunter Anderson shoots and that one goes in for the first goal of the game. Blue Jays lead one to nothing, the Wildcats in the Ozone, Aiden Nelson Shoots right there off the pads of the goaltender. Blue Jays clear it in Dodge County again. Brett Lugvinson shoots another stop by the goal, the goalie, but the Wildcats are moving on, getting the victory over the Blue Jays 5 to 3. In a section 1 2A boys hockey quarterfinal game, the seven seeded Mayo Spartans took on the two seed, the Century Panthers. Century's TJ Gibson finds the back of the net there, putting the Panthers up 4 to 2. Mayo finds Oliver Burr, shoots off the rebound. Connor Dahl misses two and centuries. John Hoffman on the other end with the puck right here. He is on a roll, finds the back of the net there. The Panthers are moving on, beating the Spartans five to three. And switching to the hardwood in girls high school hoops. Teams are competing in the section tournament there too in a class 2A section one matchup tonight. The 10 seeded Chatfield Gophers took on the seven seed, the Zimbrota Mazeppa Cougars. The Gophers find Taylor Ask in the corner. She drains a triple. The Cougars are up by three. And ZM's Addie Preston finds Amelia Anger Angerman at the top of the key. The Cougars extend their lead to five. ZM's Preston with the steal right there. And she finishes at the other end with the layup. This game was not determined in regulation. The Gophers are moving on in overtime, beating the Cougars 75-72. to And in boys high school basketball in a regular season matchup, the Century Panthers hosted the Mankato West Scarlets. At the half, the Panthers had a three-point lead up 28-25. to The Panthers find Marquis Simpson on his way to the hoop. He gets that layup to fall. Century is up by three. Panthers Ricky Wenger on the fast break drains the triple. Century extends its lead to six. And he was on fire back-to-back -back threes for Wenger right there. The Panthers get the win, beating the Scarlets 76-64. to And in North Iowa boys high school basketball, teams are hitting the hardwood in districts. Let's take a look at a few of the matchups tonight. In a 3A2 second round game, the Clear Lake Lions knocked off the North Polk Comets 72-51. And in a 3A3 second round matchup, the Charles City Comets beat the Hampton Dumont Cal Bulldogs 49 to 38. And today, February 22nd, 2024, is Caitlin Clark Day in Iowa, according to the Iowa House. The Iowa House wanted to honor Clark for, quote, her extraordinary accomplishments, end quote, after she broke the NCAA Division I women's scoring record a week ago tonight. Clark had 49 points in that one, setting a career high in points. She is just 98 points away, and that does not include tonight's game from tying Pete Maravich's record. He is the all-time leading scorer in the NCAA men's and women's basketball. The number four University of Iowa Hawkeyes fell to the 14th-ranked Indiana Hoosiers tonight, 86-69.